Kim's Convenience. It's about uh, a convenience store that's set in that's in Regent Park um, in Toronto, which is a neighborhood that's undergoing a lot of change. It's being redeveloped. It's being gentrified. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Kim and his family, they've, he's, they've run the store for over 30 years. And one day he gets a very, very generous offer from a real estate agent, a friend of his, to buy the business. And uh, that's where Appa, Mr. Kim, the character that I play, comes at a crossroads in his life. My parents uh, immigrated here when, when I, like in 1975, and they came with 200 bucks and a lot of hope. And they've been very supportive of my career. And then when, when, when it opened, when Kim's Convenience opened at the Fringe, they came after and they gave me a big hug and they said, uh, we're very proud of you. And that was kind of, that kind of made it like worth, <laughs> in, a, in a way, it worth all the, the pain and struggle. Well, I remember when um, Ince, Ince used to sort of squirrel away when we were in the academy together and, and when everybody would go off to have lunch, he would go and sit in a corner and type away. And he did it all the time, he sort of uh, hid away and that, that's what he was working on. A lot of people come up to Paul and Ince and they say, that's my story that you've put on stage. I think it's what makes it so satisfying for the audience is that mm. there's this comedy going boom, 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 and then whoosh! you get the, the, the love and the, the intense desire of this family to come back together. And that's first and foremost, I mean, there is love in this family. They can't express it uh, in, in the proper way sometimes. There's a lot of miscommunication, missed opportunities, but never for a second do you ever doubt that this family loves each other. You know, my parents were first generation. They ran a store. This is what, you know, this re reminded me so much of my childhood. And, and it was cross ethnicity. And I think that's, that's what's so Canadian about this play. There's a new face to Canada. The look of Canada has changed. The makeup of Canada has changed. And it's, I think it's really important to reflect that on our stages and to celebrate it and to embrace that. So I think it's really important. And I'm so happy that all these theaters have embraced this story. I guess that's the power of theater uh, at, its, at its best, to actually have an effect on people, people's real lives. It's a story about reconciliation, about forgiveness. It's a family story. It, at it, at it, the, the core essence of it, it's a family story.